Hey everyone, I'm here in the North Georgia mountains at the Resaca Confederate Cemetery. In May of 1864, clashes between Union and Confederate soldiers had reached the community of Resaca. This forced Colonel John F. Green to flee his home along with his family. When they returned home after the Civil War, they discovered hundreds of bodies scattered all across their land buried in shallow graves or laying just where they fell. Mary and Pyatt, John's daughters, were horrified at the sight that they had seen. Mary and Pyatt, along with their maid and their cook, began digging graves, giving all the Confederate soldiers a proper burial. And this is their final resting place. Here's some of the information about what Mary and her family discovered whenever they came back home after the Civil War. Um, the only thing that was allotted to Mary from her father was about two and a half acres. Everything else she had to raise on her own. She went to the Georgia Assembly uh, to ask for money and she eventually got the money and all the debt of burying the Confederate soldiers was paid off, but she actually received more money than the 500 she was asking for. And this place does mention Mary the most. She was the main person in getting all this to happen. Um, her sister was a part of it, along with her maid and her cook, but most of the credit does go to Mary. See another marker in remembrance of Mary. Um, Mary's actually not buried here. She is buried with her family, um, I believe in Atlanta. This is a Confederate cemetery, um, and the Civil War was undoubtedly fought over slavery. Um, but something to note is there were non-slave owners fighting in the Civil War. One of the main reasons was for the sake of the slave economy. The slave economy brought so much to the South that those who didn't even own slaves were not willing to give up what the slave economy provided for them. Um, that's one reason why they went to war. Poor Southerners also romanticized the uh, rich slave owners. White supremacy was definitely popular during this time, and poor white Southerners thought that with slaves, they were not the lowest on the totem pole. You saw a lot of poor white Southerners fighting just for the sake of maintaining that white supremacy. Being from this area, I know good and well that it is subject to vandalism. It happens quite a bit. There are about 400 Confederate soldiers buried here, and most of them are identified as unknown. Some of the process of decomp had probably already started, and again, this was in May in Georgia, so it does get pretty hot. I'm sure there were all kinds of animals um, coming after those bodies. I mean, it's free food, so why not? Looks like someone's left a quarter on, uh, on this grave. It is kind of uh, odd though. I lifted the quarter up and <clears throat> it's um, a Massachusetts quarter, so I'm not exactly sure what that has to do with the Confederacy or if he's just leaving him some change. Here is the first marked grave that I've found. Um, and we do have some more uh, vandalism. Like I stated earlier, poor white southerners romanticized the rich white slave owners. 
um, they did believe at one point they could reach that that state um, and that's that's a contributing reason is why they fought in the Civil War um, they wanted to maintain slavery so they could reach that point themselves and um, obviously it didn't work out we are starting to see uh, we are starting to see more marked gray the cemetery is the final resting place of just over 400 Confederate soldiers but there is one non-military grave located in this area and that belongs to Miss E.J. Simmons Miss Simmons is from my hometown of Calhoun, Georgia. She was the president of the Historical Society. Um, she's responsible for making many improvements to the cemetery. Um, she is the reason for the memorial stone that reads, Georgia Confederate Veterans. We sleep here in obedience to law. When duty called, we came. When country called, we died. Miss Simmons died September 5th of 1907. She was buried in the Resaca Confederate Cemetery upon her own request. Here's an interesting grave. Uh, Charles Burford, December 5th, 1827, killed in battle at this place, May 14th, 1863. So this was actually erected before Mary had placed these bodies in a proper burial. Um, it was erect, erected by his brother. Sacrificed for our lost cause. And then there at the bottom you can see erected by his brother. These monuments dedicated to Southerners from the Civil War. Um, if you look at the time when they were erected, a lot of them were put up during the Jim Crow South. So on this one over here, it's been upkept to some degree, um, but there is a year whenever it was placed, and that's 1953. This was somewhat of an intimidation tactic by those in the South that still claimed white supremacy. Um, it's not something that was necessarily used to honor their relatives, though there were some, like the Daughters of the Confederacy, they, they would place markers up in honor of their loved ones that did fight in the war. Uh, but a lot of these monuments were erected during the Jim Crow South. So, something to think about. They're not as old as people think that they are. Um, and they were put up in a time where white supremacy flooded the South. <laughs> 